Now there goes. Fat guy's back. I just uh, I went to the store today and picked up a couple knives here, and uh, just wanted to do a small review on them. Uh, they're nothing really all that special if you're in the uh, bushcrafting game, survival game. <laughs> like I know what I'm doing in that field anyway. But uh, I just picked these knives up. They're both ten dollars at Tractor Supply, which I don't know. If you guys know what that is or not, Tractor Supply is a store that sounds exactly what its name sounds like. It used to be Quality Farm and Fleet, but it's, uh, you know, they, spell, they sell uh, farming equipment and, uh, you know, gardening stuff and tools and what have you. Actually, around this time of year, they should start having in some chicks and ducks. So you go in there and start hearing cheeps. Anyway, picked up two of these. And I want you to notice the name brand on both of these. This is Mossy Oak, and this is Smith & Wesson. And what that literally means is that these two uh, reputable companies decided to give their name to some knife maker in China. Or at least lease it out. So you can sell their knives for 10 bucks here in the U.S. So let's see what we got in these things, and uh, I'll open this up on camera. Hopefully I don't end up hurting myself. Urgh. Aha. Alright. Start off with the uh, sheath, I guess. Can I access the knife through there? Of course not. Wow, these things are uh, pretty in there. And I literally just bought this knife for the review. See what I just did there? Don't do that. Uh, aha. See, it even takes off the uh, thing for me. Let's see if it can rescue its own uh, chain here. Aha! That was not the way you want to do that. I don't know the way you would want to do it is, but that's probably not it. In this one I want to show you something that this was actually designed specifically for tractor supply. So, or bought for tractor supply. So if you can't find Mossy Oak, there's probably a very few stores that have them. I would imagine that most big name brands like Cabela's would. I don't have a Cabela's in my town. So, we have a nice little EDC knife here, it looks like. Alright, not a nice point on it, but still do some work. And uh, let's do a little uh, checking out here, shall we? This one is the HRT from... Uh, from Smith & Wesson. Stiletto. I don't know. I've never uh, never got the whole point of uh, carrying a knife that is mostly meant for stabbing somebody. In the state of Ohio, you have to, in order to have something concealed, you have to prove that it's a tool. Stilettos, I would find a hard time believing is meant to be a tool. Uh, you'd have to have some really specific jobs to do with these. If not, you're out to stab somebody. I mean, I'm not a big fan of carrying knives for protection, but I guess if you're a felon, you don't have much of a choice. But this one is uh, <laughs> magnetic all the way through. Or magnetic, yeah. Full tang. It's full tang. You can see the uh, metal in the eye hole here. 
But my big question is, what about this bad boy? This is not the most uh, heavy knife. Uh, this thing gives it a little more weight in the top. But as for the bottom, I'm kind of curious. Alright. So I would say the end is somewhere near the second bracket. So not fully full tang, but for an EDC knife, you probably don't need it to be able to uh, spark a ferro rod. But it would be nice to have the option, you know. However, it does stay on the hand pretty well, so if you're going to carry it around for uh, EDC purposes, that's not a bad, uh, bad knife. Uh, edge does the job. I mean, that is shaved. It's just not as efficient as I would have liked to see on a brand new knife. But hey, it's something you can carry around at work and whatnot. Cut open boxes, what have you. For $9.99, meh, it's alright. It seems to do the job. Uh, this at least comes with a, uh, yeah, molly sheath. Uh, also designed to be a neck knife if you want it. And of course I put my finger directly on the blade like a dumbass. Alright. And, yeah, the Smith & Wesson seems to have a little better of an edge. So, that's kind of cool. So, I would say quality, Smith & Wesson is definitely better. For, uh... practicality I'd give this one an F I mean yeah I can cut open boxes and do what I normally do for the most part but the way a stiletto is built is not meant for prying or anything else that I would want a EDC knife to do I don't know how many times I pry something open with my knife and whatnot so yeah it's up to you whatever you're looking for course days off carry the good old uh old uh old hickory here well i carry whatever i seem to pick up that morning but giggity um all right i want to wish a uh, happy birthday to my good buddy steve um prayers out to those who need them and uh, hopefully I'll be coming back at you with uh, some content soon. I uh, Things in personal life have been kind of uh, stressful here lately, so just haven't been able to get much out. Uh, not that you guys really worry too much about that, I guess. Anyway, you guys have a good day. God bless.